If you're in premenopause and your face has ever looked like this, or you're suddenly experiencing weird intolerances or allergic reactions, this video is for you. Let's talk about perimenopause and something called histamine intolerance. You are most likely familiar with histamine because you've probably at some point in time taken an antihistamine for seasonal allergies, bug bites, hives, whatever, but what exactly is it? Well, histamine is a naturally occurring chemical in your body that acts both as a neurotransmitter and an immune system mediator. Histamine has three primary functions in your body. This includes immune function, nervous system signaling, and digestion. When we have a normal histamine response, this is good. But during perimenopause, hormonal fluctuations can trigger our mast cells to produce excessive amounts of histamine. And this is very bad. When our bodies are flooded with histamine, this can send very confusing signals to our body. And this can cause a lot of issues. Symptoms of histamine intolerance are quite broad and they might present as facial swelling, migraines, hives, hot flashes, skin flushing, nausea, vomiting, brain fog, insomnia, vertigo, heart palpitations, food intolerances, congestion, runny nose, stomach pain and cramping, and even full-blown anaphylaxis. So what do we do now? Hormone therapy can absolutely be beneficial for managing perimenopause-induced histamine intolerance, but you can also take second-generation antihistamines to help manage these types of symptoms. I personally take Zyrtec and Pepsid to help inhibit excess histamine production, but I also take a DAO enzyme to help my body better metabolize histamine as well. I think it is so important to understand that perimenopause isn't just about your menstrual cycle. The domino effect that is set in motion during perimenopause is so extremely nuanced, which is why so many women are misdiagnosed and undertreated. If you guys have any other questions about histamine intolerance or mast cell dysfunction, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I could literally talk about this all day. But if you found this video to be helpful, go ahead and send this to a friend and hit that follow button for more perimenopause and menopause science backtags.